Thanks for staying with us. Kenosha County had to get used to being the center of attention in a hurry. Some people embraced it. Others just want healing and they want everyone out of the spotlight. Our Jamie Perez spent the day talking with some of those people. She is live in Kenosha now. Jamie. Right, well, just like when President Trump came to visit Kenosha on Tuesday, we got similar mixed reactions to Joe Biden's visit today. Some people saying that he would help bring the community together and unite them, and others saying that he was only here to get ahead in the polls. The 35-mile-an-hour winds didn't stop Philip McAndrew from showing his support for Joe Biden. Joe Biden's message today is that we need to think collectively, not individually, that we need to think about our community carried that feeling around parts of Kenosha, including with small business owner Lindsey Weinstein. He really shows that he's going to give to the community, especially to the small businesses, but also to the families that have been affected by this. But the Democratic nominee's visit didn't inspire everyone. Trump supporter Kenneth Turner thinks Biden was here for the photo op. I think it's a lot to do with uh, being in the public and being in this campaign, helping this campaign out. But he could have been here two weeks ago when uh, DNC was in Milwaukee, but he couldn't come then, which is kind of weird. And then there were people who were swept up in another goal. And I need you to update this 93. Jacqueline Jennings has lived in Kenosha her entire life. She said she couldn't care less about which politician comes to Kenosha. Instead, she used Biden's visit to gather recall signatures against Governor Evers and the county executive. Democrat, Republican, neither one's helping the city of Kenosha. <laughs> and, and that's what I... I, I that's what McAndrew says he wants to, regardless of where the wind takes us next. To listen, to care, and to show concern. That's what good presidents do. Earlier today, Jacob Blank's uncle was out here addressing a crowd of people as Joe Biden was speaking inside, saying that he supported that Joe Biden was here and that he visited his family. But right now, we're going to go over to Amy Reid, who has more on Biden's visit from earlier today. Amy. When Biden landed in Wisconsin, he met first with Jacob Blake's family, speaking to Jacob for about 15 minutes on the phone, something President Trump did not do while he was here. From there, Biden went to a community forum at a church in Kenosha. Community members talked to him about the problems they see in their communities when it comes to race, from access to health care to lack of opportunity. Biden pushed for optimism and said now there is a chance to make things better. I think Alderman, what's been unleashed with a lot of people is... They understand that um, fear doesn't solve problems, only hope does. And if you, keep, if you give up hope, you might as well surrender. Our town. Biden talks about specific changes he wants to make that he says will make things better. He said he wants to nationalize a $15 minimum wage, restore rights for former prisoners who have completed their sentences, and increase funding for Title I schools. Amy and Jamie, thank you both tonight.